Hi and welcome to the Aura Status and Properties tutorial. If you didn't watch the Aura Status tutorial before, I recommend to do so. Alright, let's start. I want to demonstrate a specific use case. As you can see, here is a page property report. This page property report is a standard confluence macro. So this means that every confluence environment has this macro. And with this report, you are able to gather information from different pages and uh, you can display this uh, information here. Let's call it on this master page. Each row is one page. In this case, as you can see on the left, those are all sub pages. But it doesn't really matter where they are because I will show you how to gather them. So each of them is a page and each page has its own properties or statuses or values. It doesn't matter how you want to name it. And what I want to show you is that you are able to click on those values. And all of them, of course, are again aura statuses and you can simply edit them right here. So to just explain what happened is I am able to see information that is on the different page and I'm able to edit it from this other page here. And I think this is really great to know and I hope that this helps you. So now let's see how to set up this use case here. We will first of all start with a sub page. On this sub page, I've inserted a table with two rows. One row is for the for the description of every column, and the other row is yeah for your values. And the trick is, if I'm going to the edit mode, that this table here is inside the so-called page properties macro, which is again another standard confluence macro. So what you need to do is just go onto your page into edit mode, click on plus, click on view more, and now search for the page properties. There it is. Then click on insert. And then you have this empty macro. You don't need to uh, edit something here. Just leave it like that. Then you can um, insert the, uh, the table. Just like that, for example, uh, I don't need the second row here. And then you just fill out, um, you know, the, the titles, for example, like that. And then you would add an aura status to this. So I'm searching for aura status. I'm using this one. And so on and so on. And so you, pre you prepare this kind of information. Uh, on all your pages uh, that you want to gather. And uh, if you did so, I would just close it. I won't uh, save it uh, in this example. If you did so, um, you can go to your master page. And on the master page, again, you go into the edit mode. And here, uh, what you do is you, uh, again, go into the edit mode, you go into uh, to uh, somewhere where you uh, want to add the page property report, you click on plus, you click on view more, and then again, you search for the page properties report. There it is, and then insert. So um, you see that it works out of the box. Uh, we can also edit this report, and if you want, you can specify which uh, uh, pages should be included. So uh, what I recommend is, for example, that uh, you use a specific label, maybe a unique label for your pages that sh uh, show, should show up here in this report. And with that, you can make sure that only those pages uh, will be visible and uh, no, no other pages. And of course, you can also specify the space. So maybe you want to also gather pages that are not just from one space, maybe also from multiple spaces. So this is all possible. Yeah, and after that, you just publish the, the page. I will again just close it. And there you go. All right, that's it. I hope this video inspired you. Thanks for watching.